We find Eve at the body farm. It was actually established originally in Waking the Dead um, when I first joined. Um, and it was a much smaller affair. It was much more modest. Um, it was more like a shed. And, um, but she worked out of there. Um, and, and the two sort of, her two jobs, both at the cold case unit and at the body farm, sort of worked alongside each other. <clears throat> D.I. Hale, he's a very interesting man. He's an old punk without a shadow of a doubt, who's kept his culture and his record collection. Um, he's just overcome cynicism. Uh, and he's, he, he knows Eve Lockhart of old. Uh, and I think he sees the policing of the future. And that's why he wants to employ them as often as he possibly can to solve crimes. Eve's relationship with Mike is, uh, is, an, old, is an old one. Um, they go back sort of 20 years. And it was the, the two of them that decided to set up the body farm and, and make a go of it as a, as a commercial venture. But really, um, you know, I think a, a lot of it is from a love for the work, um, which they all commonly share. And they all have their own uh, sort of individual brilliant sort of fields of expertise. Eve now, I guess, is more of a team leader, has become more of a team leader. And, and, and obviously, once she gets involved with Hale, then starts to go out into the field and, and get a better sense of what that is. And uh, now it's a spin-off of Waking the Dead. Were you a fan of that show? No? <laughs> um, it's a spin-off of Waking the Dead. Well, I think, <laughs> yeah, I guess in as much as uh, Eve Lockhart is the, is the glue. Um, I never, I, I, I don't watch a lot of telly, that's the truth. So, uh, but I saw it occasionally, yeah. It, it, fe it felt really strange at first. It was like, where's Boyd? Um, it did, it felt, it felt quite different in a way. Um, uh, yeah, and, and now the more we've gone through it and the more, uh, you know, we're, we're sort of more than halfway through the shoot, the, the more easy and more familiar it's become, as, as it would on any, on any shoot. But it was a bit like, it was a bit like starting with a new character. I cut my hair and, um, uh, and the context was so so different from Waking the Dead. Um, it's it, the the flavour is quite different, but it's still dealing with things that people seem to enjoy very much. The sort of pathology of death, um, if you can say that the pathology is death. But um, uh, yeah, I hope it I hope it has some of the best elements of Waking the Dead, and then also I hope it sort of ex expands into other areas. It's less. Um, I don't know, the stories are slightly smaller, they're more intimate, maybe more intimate, I'd say. It's less, it's less of a grand scale.